Hi, this is Johanna from ChapmanStories.com and this is a one six scale tutorial for the corporate office that I built for a story, a suspense thriller called Core Security. So check that out on my website. This set is huge. It is four foot by five foot. Uh, it took up the entire table that I usually do dioramas on. And I started off with a 30 by 20 inch, one fourth uh, inch board to make uh, my first set of four windows, which I cut out using the T-bar that you see there. And this is going to go from my reception so that I can see through these windows into my conference table, conference room. I made a second set of these for the exterior and then I put a photograph of the city behind it. Now because I'm using windows and I've just cut out, anytime you cut through foam board it leaves frays. So I always cover up any type of doors or windows with contact paper. And I usually use white contact paper um, and basically it doesn't cover the whole board, but it covers most of it, so it kind of laminates it as well. When you're going to cut windows or doors out, you want to, on the corners, cut diagonally down, and then you just leave strips enough for it to wrap around the board itself. Um, basically, the back of it is going to look really awful with all the lovely peeled over strips, and it's going to, you're just going to show all of those, but no one's going to see those. But the front is going to look perfect when you do that. Another bonus is that on the front side of it, uh, I can do masking tape on and off without ever wrecking the board. For the window itself, I used plexiglass. Uh, there were pre-cut pieces that I got at the hardware store that have a nice little film, plastic film on the front and the back. You just peel that off. The window itself is going to be really shiny, but um, it's going to look really realistic, which is nice. So I used a small strip, which I cut, of silver contact paper at the, towards the bottom of it, because I've seen that sort of stylistic look at offices before. I took the whole piece of plexiglass, I taped it with masking tape to the back side of the actual wall itself. From the front, you cannot see this tape at all. So when I flip it over and you can see the front, it looks, looks like a great window. And it was a learning curve for me to learn how to photograph it so that I didn't show up in it or my lights didn't show up in it. So a little bit of a glare is good because it, again, it's realistic. I needed a conference room table. So I used a uh, 1 4 inch foam board, which I cut and a really nice wood that I found online that came in a very tiny roll and was very expensive, but it was very sticky, so it was worth it. I used uh, sewing pins to pin at the top so that the legs would stick in and then I used a little small strip of foam board wrapped in the silver contact paper to pin the two legs together to make them sturdy. You can see the pin kind of sticking out on this side one but since I wasn't filming underneath the table uh, it wouldn't matter. So, But it did, it, the table was actually pretty sturdy, I could put a lot on it. The next picture is a picture of the table pretty much finished. Um, it's got silver strips on the, on the top of the table again to give it the corporate look and I used just some plastic chairs that I would purchased online to put around it uh, to, to give it a more stylized look. For the elevator I used a really pretty light wood contact paper um, and I had just really really super skinny strips of the silver contact paper um, which I just put across and down. I made walls for the side of the elevator and I also made a front wall uh, that would have the door out of all the same contact paper. For the rails themselves I used strips of balsa wood that I covered in the silver contact paper and then I just took double sided tape, stuck that wrapped balsa wood to the actual wall itself and Here's what it looks like with a doll. It looks like a real elevator already. Whatever height you want to use, it's going to be up to you. I just used the full height of the wood, of the actual board itself. I didn't cut it at the top. Here's the front door of the elevator. I used a thicker foam board for that, a one half inch, just to give the doorway itself more depth. I covered it with silver contact paper. And for the actual buttons up at the top and then the buttons that press, I just use little gem stickies that come, you can get them anywhere in the scrapbooking section of uh, any craft store and they peel off really easily if you need to use this wall again for something else. And here's a closer picture of those little, little gem stickers. 
The last piece of furniture that I needed to build was a reception desk. So again, I used one fourth inch foam board that I cut and I used a darker wood contact paper. Um, on the bottom left corner, you can see a little picture of a barrette. I use that anytime I'm putting anything together that's uh, gonna be pinned because the pins themselves just hurt my thumbs. So it's a really nice, easy trick to just use that to push the pins in. Uh, the top of the desk has got a sort of a marble looking uh, contact paper which I got at the hardware store and then the darker wood I got online. And here's the whole set. If you notice up on the top right corner where that black area is, that was my only way in or out of the conference room because I accidentally shut it all off because I needed to have 360 degree photographs inside that room. So the only way in and out of it was me to get on a stepladder and put the furniture and the dolls in through that hole. So try not to um, lock yourself out of your rooms. Uh, I kind of had to do it because of the way my lighting rig was set up on top of the walls. This is a picture of the elevator with a nice light wood right before it started to bubble. Contact paper. If it doesn't stick right away, don't use it. That was my lesson here. Um, both that front wall and the elevator started to bubble. The front wall wasn't as bad and I just poked holes in, in the places where it started to get the air bubbles and they kind of went down, but the elevator just got worse and worse and worse. Um, I tried gluing, and you can actually see on the back wall there where she's standing next to the zigzag lines of where I tried glue. It does not work, don't try it. So basically I had to scrap that elevator altogether and just use an older one that I'd made with silver contact paper that actually stuck. So it still looks fine and it, and it still goes with this set. So here's what it looks like with the silver elevator. And here's a closer shot of the, sil of the silver elevator. Um, this, that was just my big lesson with contact paper and that light wood one was very expensive as well. So just try it out, um, try a little strip of it, stick it, and if it doesn't stick, don't, don't use it. Here is a picture of going through the actual two sets of windows so you can see the conference room and you can also see where I put a photograph of a city behind to give it more of an exterior look and here's what the front desk looks like. There's a third kind of contact paper I use on the doors um, also with st strips of silver contact uh, paper and the doorknobs are basically just uh, jewelry beads that I have pins stuck through them to give it a 3D look. And here's the whole reception room. Those lamps up on the wall are basically lapel pins that uh, use at weddings for men to put little roses, rosebuds in. And here's here's the fight scene, some of the fight scenes that I did for, for core security. I had so much fun filming in this room because it was just huge. I could do whatever I wanted. So here's some of my guys kicking butt. And one more shot of it. And it was worth it just to have all the detail of the room to be able to, to, to shoot the story in. So thank you so much for listening to my 1-6 scale diorama tutorial of a corporate office. There are plenty more tutorials coming from Chapman Stories. Thanks again.